For today's tutorial, I'll be talking about how to place a turnio scan inside of a 360 degree photo. This technique can be used to create different scenes where you can find a home for your turnio scans in artwork or other projects. First, I used the Google Street View app to create a 360 photo. This app was free and very easy to use. Once I had my 360 photo, I downloaded a software called Walkabout Worlds. This software is still being developed, but they have great tutorials that explain different editing techniques and was pretty easy to use. Once you import your 360 photo into Walkabout Worlds, click on Straighten Image. Then control click on each vertical part of the image. Find as many as you can to try and make sure your image is as straight as possible. When you're done, press Save Fixed Image. Then click on Walkabout Editor. From here, you'll click on Launch Panel Modeler. Then you'll find the four corners and control click on each to make your layout. Adjust each corner and when you are satisfied, click Model Mode. This will turn your 360 photo into a 3D model. When that's done, you can generate and save your model. Next up, we'll be editing this model in Mesh Mixer and importing a 3D scan made with Turnio to sit in the center. You can do this with any type of scene or scan. First, you'll click Edit Transform to turn your model right side up and level it out on the plane. Press Accept. Then you'll need to import your Turnio 3D scan. Do this by pressing Import, Append, and then selecting your model. Next, edit transform your Turnio model to align it with your 360 scene. And use the select tool to get rid of the base. Then use the plane cutter to cut out any more unwanted areas. If you need more specific instructions on how to do this, check out our Mesh Mixer tutorial part two, linked in the description. The next step is to edit transform your Turnio model and place it wherever you would like in your 360 scene. When you are happy with the placement, press shift and click on both models in the object browser. Then click combine from the menu that pops up on the top left corner. Now you can see that these two objects have combined into one so I can no longer move the statue within the 360 scene. To see inside this scene more easily, I'm going to select and trim one of the walls from the 360 photo. Again, if you need more instruction on selecting and trimming, check out our last tutorial. Now you're ready with a finished product which you can use to print, animate, and add more scans into your scene. Thanks for watching.